Welcome everyone, uh, we are looking at the Hogwarts Legacy Achievements and my notes actually say to take this with a pinch of salt, considering this was leaked by Epic Games. I run XFAs. Yay, but also BOO! I'm taking these with a grain of salt, don't care. This ring Power Packs has them up as well, so let's go through them, shall we? Just uh, trying to resize everything because uh, it's outside bounds. Okay, we ready? There are 45 achievements slash trophies. If you're on PlayStation, you get a premium. You get a platinum one. So there's your 46. Do I care about it? No. The sword who makes an entrance. Complete the introduction and finish the sorting ceremony. That's it. Probably that, that is a given. Grapple with the grapple horns to do the Lord of the Shore. We saw that in the trailer and gameplay showcase trailer. The one who mastered memories, view all the perceived memories. The hollowed hero wield a deathly hollow uh is it the one? Or the invisibility cloak, or is it the rock? I have no idea. Well, resurrection stone, I should say. But the resurrection stone is actually um doesn't actually resurrect the person it's uh i think it's a ghost of them the hero of hogwarts defeat Branrock, given the secret of knowledge win the house cup now i'm calling bullshit because a in the gameplay showcase they said that it's not actually you don't get house points but why do we need to win the house cup then if we not getting awarded house points we do have free relationship quest lines, so the Avenging Gazelle, Beast Friends, and a Solo Grave. Uh, does that mean Sebastian is being killed and by us? If Avada Kedavra, I don't know. Play Poppy Swinging's relationship line. Play Natasi Onye's relationship line. Uh, the Defender of Dragons, which is Save a Dragon. Yay, dragon! <laughs> uh, flight, the good flight. Beat him in this time in all broom races. Oh, great. That's going to take a while. Now, for the map chamber, which is uh, you need to play through four times to get Slytherin, Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, and Ravenclaw, uh, you do have Toasted Town. The Aurora's Apprentice, the Gryffindor in the Graveyard, and the Wise Owl, which is Ravenclaw. Now I am going to say this. do If you do actually go through on all characters, like on through all houses, that's fine. If you go through on three houses, like, oh, I got to the map chamber, I popped that achievement slash trophy, I can just save, quit, restart new game, go through it again. But this time, grab everything along the way, just it's like on the fourth playthrough, so that you got your side quest done, your collections, your... Received memories, virtually every challenge as well. Along with upgrading a piece of gear, uh, which is Loom for Improvement, King Sensor Spell, which is Invoke ma Ancient Magic for the first time. The Good Samaritan, which is all your side quests, challenge except which is your all tiers of a challenge. Collector's Edition. No, it's not what you think about. Oh, it's like I got the collector's edition. I automatically get the trophy slash achievement. Nope. That's complete all collections. Cane Sense of Spell, which is Vogue Ancient Magic for the first time, which is the that two-bar gauge that fills up. 
Root of the problem. Stun 10 different enemies using Mandrake. Always have a Mandrake on you. The nature of the base, which is braid every type of base. Going through the potions. Brew every type of potions. Put down roots. Grow every type of plant. Now, I post up in my community tab what the plants are and what the potions are, so I will be posting them in the description down below. Um, I did round off the map chambers stuff. A talent for spending, which is spend five talent points. Savvy spender, spend all talent points. Room review, reach the highest point in the castle, the headmaster's upper study. Now I'm going to say, is that the um, balcony or the upper study itself? Spilled milk, which is used for pendo, 10 times to tip one cow or several. Flew around the world, unlock all fluid flames. I'll be going through the castle, Hogwarts grounds, and then the outside. Outside of Hogwarts castle and grounds. Follow the butterflies, follow the butterflies to a treasure. Rise of the Jones defeat all enemies in the battle arenas. I am going to say this, you are going to be needing that deluxe edition and pack that pack because it does come with the Dark Arts Battle Arena. So yeah, I'm calling that. If you missed it and you only have the base game, well you're gonna be paying uh what is it, thirty to thirty five dollars Australian. Yeah. Merlin's beard. Complete all Merlin trials. I uh, discover all kind of dungeons for the explorer coasting along which is visit Pody Poet Sia Coast. I went over these. I went over this one. Demigod's Dread, find all Demigod's statues. The end petrified the means. Defeat a total of 50 enemies in Curtis Totalis. Raising expectations, reach a combo of 100. Use ancient magic on every enemy in the game, which is finishing touches. The spell march, which is, is learn all spells, which they did say there are number of spells that there's, there's about 40 i think 20 of them are slottable so i'm not entirely sure at 404 achievement which is right to level 40 i went over this this is pretty much a given first class student attend your first class just go to the class okay just go to class don't don't nitpick don't comment in down like oh, i'm just gonna skip first class go to it that's how you learn your spells. Troll with the punches. Survive the troll attack on Hogsmeade, which we actually saw in the State of Play video. As a keeper, meet Charles Rockwood. We know two other Rockwood Woods. One is Victor, one is Augustus Rockwood, and they're the only two we know of and have information on or something. We don't know who Charles Rockwood is. And then Rising from the Ashes, which is Rescue the Phoenix. And then checking my notes, and uh, yep, yeah, that's all. Yep, yeah, that's that's it. That's all of it. So virtually, I am just going to be playing Hogwarts Legacy through the other houses and not my own, straight up, so that I can get the uh, map chamber achievements slash trophies done. So I do. I am taking this with pinch of salt because. I'm going to forget about this in, say, uh, let's see, what is it, 15 days time? Because the 1st of December is Advent Calendar Month for 24 days. So from there, I'm going to go... Six twentieth third. Ooh, comes out in just that first week of Feb. So we have what is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 
about 12 weeks left, so we're getting there. We are getting there with Hogwarts Legacy, so about, roughly about 12 weeks. So the game does come out, well, the Deluxe Edition does come out on the 7th of Feb, 2023. Base game comes out on the 10th of Feb, 2023. Nintendo Switch version comes out on 31st so December, 2023. So I'm going to end this video here. Thank you for all to, well, thank you all for watching, coming, and supporting me. Um... Have a, a enjoy wherever you are for the for starters. Then take care of yourselves because I'll see you in the next video. And that next video will probably be next week or the week after. Though the I am going to be putting out another video for one thing that I was supposed to have gotten yesterday. So I will see you next time. I'm um, I'm gonna. I'm going to finish this. I'm going to finish Chamber of Secrets book.